Hello guides and scouts, today I'm going to show you how to make a small LED torch. On our website there's a printable sheet with instructions and pieces to cut out, one that you can design yourself and a choice of graphics that you can use that are ready done. You're going to need to print this either onto thin card or if you're printing onto paper, have some thin card that you can stick these bits onto as you use them. Other equipment that you're going to need is a 5mm LED. These come in quite a few different colours. I've got yellow at the moment. A battery for your torch. So these are called coin cell batteries or button cell batteries. This one is a CR2016. You could also use a CR2020 or a CR2025. If you had a thicker battery than that, a CR2032, you would need to put an extra layer of foam in the middle of the torch, but it would still work. These are three volt batteries, so you need one three volt coin cell battery and an LED. The other things that you're going to need are a ruler and pencil, a Pritt stick, you could use double sided tape instead, pair of sharp scissors, the design for the torch printed out or stuck onto some thin card. This one's been stuck onto thin card. Some fun foam, which is just very thin foam, comes in lots of colours. I've just got black. A template made from the instruction sheet. You might want to use some parcel tape to cover the card and you might want a small piece of ribbon or string to make a hanging loop to go on your torch. The first thing I'm going to do is to just put a layer of parcel tape over the printed design for the torch so that when it's made it will be a little bit more durable. The next thing I'm going to do is very carefully cut out the design. Once I've cut out the design I'm going to fold it like this and I'm going to fold in these two little tabs like that so that it looks like this. Now what I'm going to do is to draw around my template or measure out using a ruler and pencil onto the foam foam two pieces of foam that are this size. The measurements are on the template or if you're making a few of these torches you might want to make a template to make it quicker and easier to cut the pieces of foam. So I'm just going to draw around it very carefully. Helps if your pencil's sharp. And then I need to cut these out. When you're cutting the circles, if you fold the foam and put a snip in the centre of the circle it's easier to get started. You just have to take your time with this. Now I'm going to stick two pieces of foam together using some Pritt stick. You could use double sided. Oops. Pritt stick's fine.
try and line up the holes. If you need to trim the edges, that doesn't matter, but lining up the holes is the important bit at this stage. So it looks like that. Now what we're going to do is to test our torch. So we're going to put our battery into the hole. Probably be quite a tight fit. If it's a little bit small, trim the hole with the scissors. And then we're going to put our LED bulb on. Now an LED has two wires on it, two legs. One is longer than the other one. So this is the longer one and the shorter one. The longer one is the positive connection. So that needs to go onto the positive side of the battery. The negative one must touch the negative side of the battery. When you squeeze the two wires and the battery together, the LED will light up. Sometimes you get LED bulbs that have shorter wires on, but that doesn't matter so long as that wire is touching the positive side and the negative side. It doesn't have to be right in the middle, it can be just on the edge and it should work. Now I've got all the pieces ready and to assemble my torch, but before I do that I'm going to put in a little piece of ribbon. You can use string, cord, ribbon. There's not a lot of space for this so it needs to be something quite thin. This cover isn't designed to fit paracord so it needs to be something thinner than paracord. And I'm going to leave that in whilst I assemble the torch and then make it into a hanging loop at the end. So what I'm going to need to do now is put some glue or double sided tape here and here and then fold the cover over the foam. Okay so I've got a good layer of glue here and here. I'm going to very carefully add in the foam and line up the edges as carefully as I can. That's not supposed to happen. Make sure if your battery does fall out that the positive contact, the long leg, is touching the positive side of the battery. Okay, and then very carefully I'm going to fold over the cover and try and make sure you get it right up to the top of the foam here and then straighten it out along the foam. Obviously every time I squeeze it the light will come on, which is good because it shows it's working. I'm going to need to leave it a little while for the glue to dry. If you're using double sided tape it's slightly less messy and instantly dry. And then what I would do would be to tie a knot in the end of the ribbon string and trim off any excess that I don't want. So here we've got a finished torch. I don't know if you can notice but this one was made with slightly thinner card to this one and you see the lumps of bump, lumps and bumps of the battery and the wires inside a little bit more than this one the thinner card is easier to cut and fold. Sometimes when you fold it over the foam might not be quite the right size and it's a good idea just to check before you put the glue and double sided tape on and then if you need to trim down the foam slightly it's much easier to do that before you stick it together than at the end. And that's your little guiding light. I do need to say that coin cell batteries can be very dangerous if they're swallowed. They can give you internal burns that are very difficult to treat. So this isn't an item that should be given to small children to play with unsupervised and this probably isn't a craft 
for very young children to try. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and that your torches work. If you'd like more videos, please let me know. This is the first YouTube how-to video that I've made, so it might be a bit rough around the edges, but hopefully it was useful to you. Thanks and goodbye.